Well, they really can't. Uh, for high schools to do a good job preparing kids for the jobs of the future, to go to college, they need to have uh, computer equipment right on campus. They need whether it's software, connectivity, hardware. Uh, while most families have it at home, not all families do. Uh, and particularly a lot of uh, American families from uh, at risk or poorer backgrounds, whether it's in our rural areas or in our inner cities, sometimes don't have access to the technology they need at home. Uh, and if they're going to learn computer research skills uh, over the internet, being able to uh, write their papers over the internet, they're going to need to have access at school. Sometimes that includes a dimension. I've seen a lot of schools that have this where kids can check out a laptop and take it home for a period of days or a week to help complete assignments if they don't have access to a computer at home. Um, I also applaud many of the initiatives that partner between the private nonprofit sector uh, and the public sector where schools are able to get computers and equipment donated to them uh, by companies. We have a program like that in, in Colorado that I've been involved with. And I really think we need a national initiative to help really raise the bar on making sure that we have access to the technology we need to help students achieve. More and more high school students across the country are taking online courses. And I'm not just talking about the students that are fully in an online school and don't go to conventional high school, but more and more students who go to a regular high school are also taking one or two of their supplemental courses online. It might mean taking Japanese in a high school that doesn't offer it. It might mean taking an advanced math, math course that, uh, that that particular school doesn't have a, a teacher for. But all of that is predicated on having access to the technology and the connectivity both at the school site as well as the home. So we have a strong national interest in making sure that our young people are prepared to enter the workforce to go to college. And technology is a critical part of that. And we as a nation need to do a much better job making sure that every student, regardless of their economic background, has access to the technology that they need to succeed.